the first system is the sexagesimal system. It's more commonly called the English system of measurement. In this, one complete rotation of the ray OB and coming back to rest at its original location is divided into 360 equal parts. Each of these parts is called one degree. And thus we know that the right angle contains 90 degrees because nine times of four is 36. So therefore 90 degrees multiplied by four. So four right angles make one complete rotation. So therefore in this system, the degree of measurement of the angle one right angle gives us 90 degrees but then when you have very large systems like for example the earth itself or larger astronomical bodies or larger spaces that we are considering some spaces which are comparable to the size of the earth or other astronomical objects even the one degree angle is a very big angle it covers a distance of dozens of kilometers or so depending upon the size of the object and thus in order to obtain more accurate answers, we divide the degree into 60 minutes and thus one degree equals 60 minutes. Now, even 60 minutes, even one of these minutes sometimes prove to be too large of a distance in terms of distance measurement. And therefore, each one of these minutes is further divided into 60 seconds. Now, mind you, the minute and seconds here does not refer to the units of time. They are an angle, but then they have a very close connection to the minutes and seconds that we are familiar with. But then they are not to be mistaken to be units of measurement of time. They are angles. So therefore, in the sexagesimal system, one complete rotation comprises of 360 equal units. Each of these is called one degree and one complete rotation consists of four right angles. Thus, one right angle equals 90 degrees. Each of these degrees equals 60 minutes and each of these minutes is comprised of 60 seconds. The second system of angle measurement is called the French system commonly or more formally the centesimal system. Why is that? Because one rotation of the the initial ray or the initial arm here is divided into 400 equal parts so that one right angle contains 100 of these parts. Each of these parts is called grades. So one right angle is equal to 100 grades and it is denoted as follows 100 superscript G. So that's 100 grades. And now again, as I said earlier, for very large objects, even one of these grades proves to be too large in terms of distance. So therefore one grade is further subdivided into 100 minutes and each of these minutes is divided into 100 seconds. The centesimal system was discontinued many years ago because it's a very difficult system to, uh, to change into other systems and it is difficult system to work with because 400 as a number does not divide a lot of other numbers whereas the degree system is more flexible because 360 as well as 60 on which it is based are divisible by many numbers which are suitable to be converted to other systems. So therefore this system was discontinued many years ago.